All right, today we're talking about ADUs. We're going to talk all about them. If you're thinking about house hacking, if you're thinking about buying a house, maybe SB9 is even peak your interest. We're talking to the man, the myth, the legend, Dan Loesch today, ADU expert, and we'll talk about this right now. All right, as you can tell, guys, it is raining and it's pouring out here, but we got Dan Loesch, so it's going to be good. Dan. Hey, Mark. Doing great. All right, so we're going to jump into it and everything too. Talk to us a little, first of all, before we get started, talk to us a little bit about you and your company, your website. How can people get in a hold of you? Yeah, so uh, right now our big following is on Instagram and Facebook, and we have a YouTube channel, Deloche Construction. Just give it a search, D-L-O-E-S-C-H Construction. Uh, you'll find links to our website there. You can give me a ring uh, on the links to our website. All right, so we're going to talk a little ADU right now and everything. Um, ADUs are the hot topic, house hacking. Some people even, like I, I get some people who are looking at like some areas like Grand Bay, El Dorado Hills, and their idea is, well, we can afford our mortgage payment if we can get an ADU in there and get an additional renter in there. So let's just break it down. And by the way, guys, we're going to go through Dan's portfolio to show you some stuff that's going to make you drool. So let's take talk about, we'll keep it simple. What is an ADU? So an ADU is basically a secondary house. Uh, most people have called them in the past a pool house or a casita, granny units. They're a really great uh, little second house that you can rent out. Most of our clients are doing them for uh, mom and dad, moving in some family members. So it's that second house on your lot, attached or detached. Okay, okay. And like, okay, so there's a lot of controversy about size. Like how big can you do? Like, like what is, is are there size constraints? Um, and does it vary per county, per area? What are we looking at in there? Yeah, so there's a couple criteria to consider an ADU. Um, there's not really a minimum, but most uh, ADUs don't make sense, uh, less than maybe 400 square feet. 1,200 is the statewide max, except for uh, certain counties like El Dorado Hills. You can go up to 1,600 there, which 1,600 square feet for a little second house is massive. Okay, so let me ask you something. I had a client who's actually like he was building, we we're thinking about building an ADU, but he didn't have a lot of space because the fence was right there. So if you're thinking about building an ADU, like fence, walkways, distance, what does that look like? I mean, is there any like type of restrictions like that? You know, uh, before 2020, there was a ton of restrictions. You had to be, say, 15 feet from the back fence. Now the laws have changed completely. The statewide maximum setback that you can do from a fence line uh, is four feet. So that means you can go all the way up to four feet to that back fence uh, and sometimes even closer to the side fences. Most of the local uh, building departments are letting you go with zero lot lines now with these ADUs. All right. So you're seeing probably a lot of house hacking happen and all that kind of stuff right now. I mean, it's big. It's big. I mean, I get investors right up who are thinking they're themselves they're already scoping out the backyard size for an ADU with SB9 that came into play and everything too. Um, so for anyone out there thinking about an ADU, like what are we talking about cost? Is there a price per square footage guideline? What is the cost associated with an ADU? Um, we're getting anywhere from as cheap as $300 a square foot to as much as uh, $600 a square foot. Uh, it all depends on your utility tie-ins. It depends on um, whether you can build it attached or detached. And, or sometimes garage conversions are even cheaper than that. So those, if you're looking for uh, investment income, those are the gold mines, the garage conversion projects, because you can do a lot with a little there. Interesting. So garage conversions. Okay, so the price per square foot, as far as a conversion, would be way cheaper, probably like 200 or something? Yeah, you may get a garage convert. We've done them. We've done one for as cheap as $100,000. Uh, there was utilities that were already in the garage at the time. It was... A, detached structure that a guy was using as a shop. He had an electrical panel already in there. And I want to say the homeowner got a return on their investment in less than four years. Okay. Okay. That brings us to, of course, the most important, well, not the most important. We got a lot of important questions, but how much can you rent it for? Like how much are you seeing as far as ADUs? I know it varies between locations as well too. Something in Serrano is probably going to rent a lot more than something in somewhere else. But like, what are you generally seeing as far as renting? We're actually seeing very high rents. We're seeing comparable to, let's say, a two-bedroom apartment or a uh, a small house. Uh, you know, sometimes upwards of two thousand dollars a month we're seeing for rents on these ADUs. Um, typically, in the last few years, maybe fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars has been the range, but we're going okay. up from there. 
All right. So there, it's big. It's I mean, I mean, house hacking to a whole new level. I mean, you go ADU. Now, are you seeing people scope out certain kind of areas and lots? Like, you know, they had, there's one house, but then there's like maybe they're on a half acre. Are those people primarily – I guess what I'm saying is like if you see someone who's like looking for a house with a big lot, do they contact you before they even find – do they bring you out there and say, hey, hey, Dan, look – I want to put an ADU out there. Can I put one? Can I put two? What's the cost? And does this like, do you work with clients in that facet? We love to work with clients like that because now they know what they're getting into before they buy, before they invest. So I always say, if you're unsure about the buy, give me a call. I, a lot of times I can do it over the phone and tell you if it's, if it's a good buy or not. Right. Some jurisdictions will let you build two or more ADUs. Uh, I think most jurisdictions allow you one ADU and one junior ADU. Right, so a junior ADU is, is the same thing as an ADU, but it can be attached to the main structure or attached to the other ADU. And these both have addresses. So a junior ADU and a main ADU, that's two units additional on your property that you can build. Um, so if you've got a little bit of land, just enough, let's say a deeper lot in somewhere like East Sacramento, um, you might be able to get two additional units on that, on that lot and now have three tenants, the main house, Ooh. the ADU, the junior ADU. So that's a big money business. Okay, so let me ask you something. As far as permitting, as far as all that kind of stuff, like which counties are a little bit more difficult as far as permitting goes? If someone's basically, let's say they're new to the Sacramento area and they found a house with a big backyard and they're thinking, I saw SB9 on the Sacramento Real Estate Channel and they're thinking, hey, we want to put in um, another unit back there and we have two properties lined up, one in Placer, one in Yolo, one in El Dorado, one in Sacramento. What do you think as far as like, what, what is your suggestion to them? Well, I, I think you can just look right away at the jurisdictions that are doing pre-built uh, plans where they say, okay, we're going to design them for you. And we're going to pre-approve these things. So Elk Grove is a great jurisdiction. Sacramento City is a great jurisdiction. Placer has pre-approved plans. They're a little bit more difficult to deal with on the inspection end and some of the uh, building department aspects, but if you're already going with a pre-approved plan set, go for it. Placer County, great. Uh, maybe avoid Yolo County, uh, have to deal with them recently. They're going to be a little bit more tough. So definitely uh -huh. Sacramento, uh, Elk Grove, Placer, those are going to be some of your better jurisdictions. All right. Well, I live in El oh, in Gold River, so I'm going to probably say right now, Gold River's probably got to be one of the harder places to actually build into, correct? As far as HOAs? Well, they're going to fall under Sac County, and Sacramento County is is going to be uh, a little bit longer on the billing department, getting your plans in, but they're abiding by the SB9 guidelines. They're all having to do 60-day maximum plan reviews, and they're all having to be in compliance with, they have to let you build these things. They have to let you know within 60 days, you can do this. So let me ask you, so even the most restrictive HOA can't deny ADUs? Correct. An HOA cannot tell. The only thing they can do is they can say, we need you to meet the architectural standards of the neighborhood. You have to have a tile roof or stucco. You have to match with the colors. But they have literal no power to deny an ADU. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I'm not giving up my pool anytime soon. But hey, you never know. You never know that. Um, OK, so like here's the thing. How crazy can you go with these ADUs? Because I'm kind of like one of those uh, what's tiny house fanatics and everything, too. Can you go like two story? Can you like are there any kind of limitations as far as that stuff goes? Yeah, so you can go two stories. Uh, a jurisdiction can impose height restrictions. This last year, the state of California said that they cannot impose a height restriction less than 18 feet, I believe. So that's not the biggest uh, roof line, you'd have to do something real tricky to get that second story in there. But if we're talking about a rental uh, piece, you know, we, we could do a flat roof, we could do shorter ceilings. You don't necessarily have to get those big pitch cathedral ceilings in there. So what you're saying is there's no excuse not to bring the mother-in-law out with you when you're moving, man. You got the in-law unit for her, you're, you're, you're good to go. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, okay. So what's, what's like the, the, is there a minimum size that you have to build? Like, is there anything, any type of restrictions as far as that goes? Uh, most, most clients will come to me and say, Hey, I've got about 300 square feet available. And at that point you're really looking at a very small studio. It's going to be, uh, that's going to be about the limit that I would comfortably 
build a, a tiny home you can get really small but those are when i think of a tiny home it's more of something that you can put on a trailer you can go take out to the midwest and go camping you know these are more permanent structures these adus so 350 square feet or so is about the smallest you're going to want to go okay that's nice okay so i mean 350 i mean that's still pretty tight you know what i mean like that's like <laughs> tiny it's like new that's york like apartment a- tight <laughs> oh yeah, I was living in San Francisco before I meant I came to Sacramento. I had a little tiny apartment, paying a whole lot. But yeah, that's kind of that's that's a little tight for me. But okay, so as far as someone, if they if they're like watching this video or they check you out on Instagram or Facebook or whatnot, and they're saying, you know what, I want to know exactly, like I, you know, I got something closing in thirty days. I want to get going on this ADU. Like, what are we talking about? Like, what's the time frame as far as it? If someone wants to work with you or just anyone in general for building the ADU. So as far as design, the design typically takes a little longer than the build itself. Okay. Uh, the design can take about six months. So if you're going for, if you're real simple and you say, I, I would like to do a, a pre-approved uh, set of plans from the local building department, then you're approved next day, right? We can get started mm-hmm. digging utilities out. We can do work, you know, within weeks. But uh, as far as design, if we're going to do something custom, you're typically going to spend about four to six months just in design. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So that's the construction. The construction would be about, you know, anywhere between four and six months, you know, depending on supply chain issues. All right. So now we get to go to the fun part. We get to see some of your portfolio. So let's see some of the stuff. And if you guys, it's going to go really quick. So I apologize for that. But let's see if you can talk a little bit about some of these, you know, some of these amazing things. Can I click on them and make them, or is it just a photo? Uh, possibly. I'm not sure. But I'm a little website. Uh, it's okay. I'll see what I can do. Okay. How about this? <laughs> so that's one? this is that's an ADU out in Land Park. Here we had a detached garage that we put an addition on the back, and then we uh, framed up a cathedral ceiling in the front to make it look bigger. Um, the lady has her parents living in the house, and the, it's just a massive walk-in closet and master bedroom, and, and uh, it's only really about five hundred and change, five hundred and ten square feet, but it feels really big when you're inside there. You know. Nice. All right. Next one. This, and this so is that, the bathroom on it? Yeah, that's the bathroom on – actually, that's – yeah, that's the bathroom on another project. But oh, it's wow. all – yeah, all uh, marble, tile, everything is – you got two valves there so you can turn on each shower head independently. Um, it's all accessible. That That's a damless shower so that the, the homeowner was uh, in a wheelchair so she could access it and not have to worry about going over any barriers. That's, that's actually the bedroom in that. And then eight, this right, yeah, that right there is the master bedroom in that little 500 square foot ADU. Oh, and that's wow. actually a queen, queen size bed there. So a lot more room, 500 square feet is actually a lot more room than you'd think. Dang, that is pretty cool. All right. And so then this is more like the pool house gazebo-ish thing, right? Yeah. This is actually an outdoor kitchen that we did last year. And uh, the homeowner was out there by Jesuit High School. That the actual backyard goes to the... the uh, the baseball field there and they love entertaining they've got a 70 inch tv out there and a massive fireplace total outdoor man cave you know dream kitchen um he's got he's just every weekend he's got a barbecue going on in there so how much cool are we talking coffee. something like this god i would say that one ended up being about 75k Woo! but i mean that yeah. is like that is man cave to a whole new level oh yeah and you do some good work so for your the stuff that you're talking about too it isn't just kind of like you know it's like fully like these are houses houses and almost on it seems like based on like what i'm seeing in your portfolio majority of these things are like on the high end kind of like luxury kind of adu kind of units you know what i mean but you can go all around the gambit depending you can go probably with an investor who says look i want to go a little bit standard this is going to be my rental unit and we're good. Or you can go for someone who's saying, hey, look, I just bought a house in Grant Bay. I'm looking for an ADU for my mother-in-law. And she's got really, you know, my mother-in-law can get me in trouble. So I need to make sure that, you know, I get her hooked up, right? All those type of things you can take care of, right? Yeah. Yeah. Typically on the portfolio, we don't show the uh, the rental income properties. But yeah, we do have more modest options. And uh, we can go anywhere on the whole spectrum. So. All right. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And like I said, on this channel, we just don't do fluff. We give you some good topics. This is all about ADUs in the Sacramento area. Dan, thank you very much for tuning in and coming on board. I really appreciate it.
guess what guys, the video just ended. But don't worry, we have more videos just like that one right over there. And if you missed that red subscribe button during the course of the video, we got you covered right there. Hit that subscribe button. We promise to bring you some amazing content. We won't let you down. Now, if you're looking for a team in the Sacramento metro area to work with, we'd love to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. We always include a Zoom link down below. So book a time where we can talk to you a little one-on-one, -on -one, find out exactly what your real estate needs are.